Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and iOS 13 is coming out in just a few days, and maybe it's already out by the time you're watching this. So in this video, I wanna talk about the top 50, 60, 70 or so features of iOS 13, the features that I think you're going to like the most. Let's go ahead and check this out. So starting off, we have some great interface changes, and these are very subtle, but make for a much better experience. Things are less obtrusive and look better and fit better as well. So of course, you know the previous volume change status, the heads-up display was very obtrusive and just looked terrible. Now it is much more subtle and streamlined, and this looks awesome. Pops up on the left-hand side of your device. If you click it again, it gets slimmer and gets out of the way, so you can change your volume without worrying about interrupting your content. So this is really, really nice. Now additionally, when you change your ringer status, it is a much cleaner interface. So this is the previous one, and now you have something that looks much better, just looks very modern, and I really, really like this, uh, and that's just far better than iOS 12. Now the share sheet is also modified. So instead of just three areas for sharing, you now have two areas for sharing, and then you have the whole list going down, and you can rearrange and edit this, but it's just much cleaner and a little bit more like Android, actually, than uh, it was in iOS 12, and that's a good thing because the share sheet could use some improvements, and it certainly has been improved with iOS 13, so the share sheet is much better. Okay, so now a big one. Dark mode is, of course, here, and it looks amazing. So if I go ahead and turn on dark mode, you can see that, well, not a whole lot has changed here. If you go into something like settings, or if you go into something like messages, or the share sheet that we just showed you, everything that is native just looks amazing. And you can see it's so clean. I really, really seriously dig it. Uh, not only does it just look great, but also makes the device a lot easier to use at night. Additionally, you can have it scheduled on and off for sunrise and sunset. So when you go into your settings, you can see that you can have it automatic. So you can have a transition depending on the time of day. And this is honestly a killer feature. Now, Apple also included new wallpapers for iOS 13. So if we go into wallpaper, you can see that Apple added some great ones that will work with your dark mode. They transition depending on the time of the day and whether you're in dark mode or not. So this would be dark mode. And this will be regular. So you can just see it invert a little bit, but like a smart invert. So it's very, very clean and honestly, dark mode is one of the best things that's happened to iOS in a while. Now within Control Center, you will be able to 3D touch or haptic touch depending on your device, both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi toggles to get into quick access so that you don't need to go into your device settings to change or add a connection, which is great. So now Find My Friends and Find My iPhone has been combined into a single app, which is just called Find My. So when we open it up, you can see we have Find My Friends on the left and then Find My iPhone in the middle, and then you have a tab for you. Now what's really cool with this year is that there is a great security feature for Find My iPhone. So if you go into your Find My section and you do Find My iPhone, there's Enable Offline Finding. And I made a whole video on this explaining this, so I invite you to go check that out. But basically it creates a network of Apple devices using iOS 13 that communicate via low power Bluetooth so that even if your phone runs out of cellular or it does not have Wi-Fi or really any connection, it will just use low power Bluetooth to communicate and you can find your phone based off of the network of Apple users, a huge security feature. And again, we'll show you that without dark mode. Awesome. You finally have the ability to access thumb drives, SSDs, any other drive that you plug into your iPad or your iPhone. Uh, if it is a drive, files will now be able to access it and open it, and that is a big change. Health has a general redesign, which you'll have to kind of learn where things are now with this, but included inside of this is some audio and loudness hearing. So you can check audio levels for your listening, for your headphones, your AirPods, whatever. It'll tell you if you're listening to things at too high of a volume. But this will also incorporate the Apple Watch's sound data. And then finally, there's also cycle tracking added. There's now a new family sharing hotspot setting so your family members can share your data hotspot. And then there is also a low power data mode which will actually try to reduce your data consumption. Now you can super quickly scroll through long documents by just holding onto the scroll bar. It'll give you a little click and then you will be able to scroll the whole page and this is great. 
Now iOS supports shared audio, so you can share audio from your phone. So if you have two AirPods or an AirPods and Powerbeats or something like that, you can play to both of them at the same time, just like you could uh, with AirPlay 2. But you can also share it with another iOS 13 user. If you put your phones together, it'll use NFC to communicate, and one person's video or music can go to both pairs of Apple devices that support shared pairing. So that's an awesome feature to share audio on iOS 13. The keyboard has been updated to support QuickType, which is awesome. Android's had this for a while. Google Keyboard and third-party keyboards had this, but now finally Apple has this natively on your keyboard and you can just swipe away and it's great. Face ID is faster, it's something that you may or may not notice, but it is indeed quicker as I can show you here and we'll unlock both these at the same time and you can see that transition you can see it's definitely a little bit quicker on iOS 13 on the right. There's a great new battery setting and this will charge your iPhone more efficiently. So it'll know when you're gonna wake up, but it'll learn that and when you're gonna take it off the charger and it'll slow down the charging so as to not keep your phone charging at 100% too long. So this should help your iPhone and iPad's battery capacity. A huge feature now is download manager for Safari. So especially on the iPad, you can download files and attachments and it'll go to the files application for downloads, but you can do it on on the iPhone as well. So you can see if I click on this and hold it down, I can download the linked file and it'll open up the download manager. And now it is downloading a video from Safari. And when that is done, it'll show up in the files application under downloads. And you can see it is downloading there. So that's awesome. Now there's also an awesome screenshot manager for the iPhone and the iPad. So if you take a screenshot, you can just screenshot what you are on or you can also do full page, which will basically give you an awesome PDF to scroll through the entire thing. You can mark it up. So this is great for annotating longer documents and you can share this with a notes app or whatever you want, but that is a really, really cool feature to do screen or full page. And you can see that is great. So notes has some cool features now. You can actually do nested folders. So folders inside of folders. So if we drag this over and drop it in, folder B, folder A. So you can have nested folders. So with a three finger tap, you can bring up your controls, but there's also undo by swiping three fingers to the left, redo by doing to the right, a pinch to copy, and doing outward, we'll paste it. We can do two of those to cut, and then we can paste, undo, etc. So really quick gestures that you can do on your iPhone and same as the iPad. Music has some great changes. So your up next is just a tap away, which is a slight change. But then you also have this beautiful lyric view, which will give you this full screen effect with synced lyrics. And this just looks awesome. And you can scroll through and this is really, really nice. Of course, if you want to get your regular lyrics, you can still do that, view full lyrics, and there you go. One of my favorite new features is being able to export photos, live photos as videos. This was kind of a pain before and it required a third party app, but now it is just as simple as going into the share sheet and doing save as video. And that's kind of a huge feature. In Safari, there's now an option to manually or automatically close tabs. So you don't have to worry about your tabs accumulating. If you want to close it after one day, one week or one month, that is in your Safari settings. There's some nice changes inside maps, so you can do collections now, uh, and in a collection you can do like an itinerary for a trip or anything like that, sort things together and then share it. But then there's also a new feature called look around in maps. So if I search San Francisco, you can see that there is a look around and this is just super sweet. You can see it's very similar to Google Street View. It'll let you see exactly how you are navigating and you can see it adjusting like that. You can also do half and half with your view of where you're going um, and the view that you will see in front of you. This isn't supported in very many cities, but it is insane for the ones that it does support. So that's a really nifty feature. Reminders has been redesigned and now you can have multiple smart folders for scheduled, flagged, today, and these will organize automatically. You have your local, your iCloud, etc., and you can add a list. Uh, but now also when you are creating a reminder, it can have smart syntax. So you could say tomorrow 9 a.m. Um, shopping. And you're good. That was really simple. Done. 
and now you have a reminder for tomorrow, 9 a.m. for shopping. There are now awesome editing tools for video, so there weren't a whole lot of settings before, but now you can do things such as straighten your video and you can apply different filters um, and just do other changes that you could not do before to videos. So if you're in a pinch and on the go, you can definitely modify your video within Apple's own app to get some cool effects right there. Editing photos just got simpler and cleaner, whereas before you had this list view that was staggered and you'd click to expand. Now all of these options are more similar to a lot of other apps out there with a horizontal scrolling list of all of the different changes you can make. You can tap on one, adjust it, and then you can see what it looks like with an on or off just by tapping the icon. There is now a new portrait mode setting, so if I go into portrait mode, you can see that high key light mono is now here, and that is really nice. Now there's a huge feature of being able to download any size applications over cellular. So a lot of people do now have unlimited data plans on their devices, so you can download any size app now over cellular. Now you can add an avatar or a name and photo to share with friends, so if they don't have a contact picture for you, it will pop up, so you can choose a name and a photo so it can have it pop up, uh, and this is pretty cool. So you basically have a universal image for people that don't have one for you. Search has gotten so much better in messages. You can search through conversation, links, attachments, whatever you need to, it'll give you great results there. Uh, and also makes it really easy to click on one that you find and go back to your search results. So searching is just so much better. Siri's voice has gotten a lot better. So if we do something on the iOS 12 version, I can say, a silvery greenish purple gray with hints of burnt sienna, at least on Saturday. A silvery greenish purple gray with hints of burnt sienna, at least on Saturday. Yeah, so Siri is a lot better. Uh, sounding linguistics are a lot more natural on iOS 13. When you're using screen time and you have an app limit on uh, and it gives you that warning, you can do one more minute on the application. There is now a new two finger drag. So anything that will support this, you'll be able to use two fingers and drag down to select multiple things at once, which is new and great. Now in the app store, you can see Apple Arcade, which is Apple's new gaming service that you'll be able to subscribe to. And you can see that, and that will be coming soon. And now there is mouse support on both the iPhone and the iPad, as well as controller support for Xbox and PlayStation controllers and other Bluetooth devices. And this is actually accessibility and touch. And this is really cool to use a mouse with your iPad and your iPhone now, as well as remote controllers. So those are some of my favorite features for iOS 13. I think it's a great update and that you will like it. Let me know your favorite features if I missed any or you found anything that you really like. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.